Good afternoon, uh, members of the media. Thank you so much uh, for coming down here. We appreciate it further away from where you are used to, to be. Uh, thank you for coming two days ago at Mark and Richard Twangrai House. I've never seen you so many, but uh, unfortunately you, you were there. You saw it became impossible for us to address each other. So thank you so much. Uh, Madam President, the uh, Chairperson and the Secretary General, we're looking forward to engage with you today. Unfortunately, I've already told Blessed Madam President the Prime and so she's rushing somewhere. So she's going to greet you and then she will leave and then the Chairperson and the SG will then be in charge of, uh, or rather will, will then take over from there. Uh, thank you so much for being here. But maybe before I sit down, for those that do not know, uh, in my immediate, or rather in my extreme left, that's our Secretary General, the Honorable Senator Monzora. In my immediate left, that's our Chairperson, uh, Senator Honorable Vakomish, Morgan Komish. And then in the middle, you've got uh, one that needs no introduction, the former Deputy Prime Minister of this country, the one and only Dr. Tawazali Thank you so much, Madam President. Thank you very much, our members of the press. I would have loved to be with you, but unfortunately, I have a United Nations um, virtual meeting, which is going to start anytime soon. So I will leave you with the National Chairperson and the Secretary General that are going to be addressing you. We'll meet um, sometime, but thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Over to you, Mr. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. so much. I'm going to present this press statement on behalf of my president, who has just left with some other child schedule. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to welcome members of the media to our press briefing. Today, the 2nd of October 2020, the Supreme Court handed down a judgment in our application for violation order for, for the MDC External Congress deaths. I would like to appreciate the Supreme Court for accepting the past request to extend the timelines for the Congress. The rest of the Congress is now to be held by the 31st December 2020. As we are aware, our the Congress was made to be held by 31st of July 2020. This was not possible because of COVID-19 pandemic, which has killed over 200 people in Zimbabwe and over, over 1 million people worldwide. As a party under my leadership, we are desirous to comply with the law and abide by the constitution of both the party and the country at all times. Following our meeting today, provinces resumed the candidates' nominations from the 24th of October to 28th of October. This will be followed by the external congress to be held between 18 to 20 December 2020. In the event that we are still under lockdown restrictions induced by COVID-19, we will be guided by our legal counsel to ensure that we remain in full compliance with the Supreme Court order. I am committed to upholding the rule of law at all times. You will remember that I was illegally recalled by Nelson Tamisa. I took the matter to the High Court in Kushina Court. I obtained Adelis judgment. I accepted both judgments of the courts, and I did not impugn the courts, but accepted the court judgment. This is a clear testimony of our commitment to respect and abide by the law of our land. 
as we work towards our Congress, our conduct and speech should always be the exemplary as a government in waiting, and that will remain within the confines of the court until and beyond the next of the Congress <coughs> by Dr. Tokozan, the acting president of the city. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, National Chair. Uh, I'll end over now to the Secretary General. I'm sure there are other issues that you would like to add flesh to. I also took note of the typing error there. The 24th and the 25th of October is the first weekend, or it's the weekend when we start our provincial nominations. That process, I think, will call between five weeks to just to six weeks every weekend will be having provincial nominations, but I'm sure the SG will speak more to further issues that have to do with our extra ordinary Congress. Thank you. SG. Oh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. Spokesperson. Uh, Senator Kalipani Pugeni, you will be a senator soon. <laughs> thank you. Um, and, uh, uh, national Chairperson and uh, uh, Deputy National Organizing Secretary. Uh, following the uh, the Supreme Court uh, proceedings yesterday, um, there was an application that was made by one George Barada from the MDC Alliance Party who wanted to uh, be joined in the in the proceedings in the Supreme Court. He was basically opposing the application for extension. We are happy to say that uh, that application was dismissed uh, yesterday by the Supreme Court. Uh, and the Supreme Court has gone on, uh, as the chairperson has pointed out, to grant our extension. That puts paid to accusations that uh, this extension were a matter of buying time. This was um, legally sensible. Um, for that reason, we have kick-started our Congress processes. Um, we are going to have um, our National Executive Committee in the National Council meetings on the 9th of uh, October 20. On the 9th, we are going to be having the National Executive Meeting. Uh, on the 11th uh, of October, we are going to have a National Council meeting. We are going to have them on separate days because of the logistical challenges that will be there. Um, and at this uh, National Executive and National Council meeting, we will uh, uh, put forward the National Standing Committee proposals regarding the Congress uh, roadmap and the Congress dates. Uh, but um, as the chairperson has read out, we have tentatively set subject, of course, uh, to, the, to, the, to the direction of the National Council. Uh, we have set between the 13th, sorry, it was titled as 18, between the 13th uh, to the 20th uh, of December. That's where, in that period, uh, we will have our National uh, Congress. Um, and uh, we are going to start uh, with the formal nominations, but before the nominations, we are going to be appointing uh, an independent electoral commission um, within the course uh, of uh, next week, I think. We will have agreed on the names of the independent electoral commission to run the, the Congress. We have already uh, done a lot, uh, the database, the electoral college, uh, the organizing department has dealt with that and uh, it, 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 is, it, is, uh, it has been completed. So we are going to start our nominations. The nominations will be done by the provincial councils um, of the uh, 12 provinces, MD, oh, sorry, of the 15 provinces. Uh, MDC does have 15 provinces. Um, it has 12 provinces in, in Zimbabwe because Chitungwiza is a separate province in our, under our constitution. And the Midlands North is also uh, a, 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 a province. A, and then we have the external provinces, uh, UK, uh, USA, and South Africa to make 15. They will be making nominations uh, through elections by secret ballot. Uh, so the nominations will uh, dates, tentative dates are as follows. 24 October um, 2020, we have nominations in Matebele North. Uh, the venue will be advised. 
Then 25 to 20, 25 October 2020, we then come to Blawayo. 31 October, March South. 1 November, Midland South. 7 November 2020, Midlands North. 8 November 2020, Marshall and West Province. 14 November 2020, Marshall and Central. 15 November 2020, Marshall and East. 21 November 2020, Harare. 22 November 2020, Chitungweza Province. 28 November 2020, Manikaland Province. And finally, Mashingo, 29 November 2020. These congresses and, uh, and these congress processes are open to MDCT people only. All those people who have been recalled are not eligible either as candidates uh, or as, uh, as participants. They are not our members. Similarly, all those people who are national executive members and national council members of other political parties other than the MDCT, uh, cannot cannot uh, take part in the Congress processes. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to uh, uh, comment briefly on what is happening at Bogan Shangrai House. It was clear to our colleagues that the Alliance project has died. The Alliance project uh, has been a monumental failure. This is a G40 project. And our colleagues who are calling themselves MDC Alliance Party are just G40 funding. They are being controlled by the G40 in whatever they do. And they came to the uh, Harvester House in the face of a court order that says that uh, they shouldn't. They came to Harvester House, they tried to entice some of our young people there, and they have uh, tried to disrupt activities at Harvest House. Uh, since the 31st of, of uh, March Harvest House was a very peaceful place and now we are reading about uh, fire there, fire this and so on and so forth. This is political posturing to attract attention. There has not been a bomb there and uh, we want to tell you that as the leadership of the MDC we are not interested in violence. We will take back our building uh, through peaceful means. The first time we took it through very, very peaceful means, nobody was injured. Um, and after that, after the uh, illegality that happened on Sunday night, we approached the courts, we obtained a court order, um, and uh, the court order is in the process of being dealt with. Yes, there has been this appeal, it is no appeal at all. It was something that was legally, legally not sensible to do, and uh, a few uh, days, maybe hours, will demonstrate uh, the folly of that appeal. Uh, but uh, we are going to take our offices through peaceful means and uh, we will be having our meetings in those offices. We have had uh, calls for leadership to talk, uh, for dialogue, internal dialogue within the party. We have never said no to internal dialogue, but we can never do dialogue at knife point. We can never do dialogue at gun point. That's simply not a way uh, to, uh, to deal with us. Um, however, uh, we still remain committed to peaceful resolution of disputes within our country. Thank you very much. <coughs> Thank you, SG. As a way of introduction for those who do not know, that's our deputy Organizing Secretary, Bachi Manikire. Uh, I'm going to open up for questions. I will take two per each leader. So if you want to ask uh, uh, Honorable Senator Komich, I'll take two per media house. I'll do the same with the SG in the event that there are questions for Bachi Manikire or for myself. The same will apply to the media house, the media. Uh, you'll appreciate that it was a long day for some of us. By 9 o'clock, I was at the Supreme Court, same with the SG, same with the chair. All these leaders woke up quite early and it has been the same for about two weeks now. So we need to go and retire and start doing other important things. 
Uh, so which media house do I start with? Yes, sir. It's directed to both of them. Both of them. Okay. 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 Uh, Minister of Health will issue a statutory instrument in Omisa ma by election until period of court appear. Saka, in Angola, we have to part of not issue a statutory instrument here. Okay, second second question. We, we, we will answer the questions at once. Second question. Yes, bless it. <coughs> okay. I just want a clarification from uh, Senator Monzora. Senator Monzora says that uh, the, the MDC alliance is a monumental failure. Um, he was part of the MDC alliance when they went for elections. Um, are, you, are you saying that you, you failed because you're part of that MDC alliance? And you also indicated um, that in your previous uh, interactions, you have said that you do not do accusations. People label each other in the MDC, and you're going to be doing different politics. But now you're calling others G40. Um, is that not a deviation from what you, you have said in the past? Because you have been clear that you want new politics. You do not want to spread hate, uh, hate messages. But um, I see you calling people G40 and, and the like. And you also in, in say that, said that uh, the G40 has taken over Harvest House. When you initially took over Harvest House, you used the Paul Gorekore. The same Paul Gorekore is the one that is in the forefront of taking Harvest House now. If you look at the court papers that were in the first instance challenging your takeover of Gorekore, you, uh, the MDCT and everyone, was accused of having violently taken Harvest House, including Gorekore. And the party was defending Gorekore's action. And now, the same Gorekore that you were defending, you are calling him a G4 support. So I want to understand those, uh, uh, those intricacies. And to Senator Komichi, you are accused of being part of the takeover, that you are behind it, you and, and organizing Secretary Bebe. In fact, um, this was confirmed when um, your spokesperson tried to address a press conference at Harvest House. He had to call Senator Bebe to be assured of his safety. And Senator Bebe was assuring him, I mean, uh, uh, your organizing secretary Bebe was assuring him that he can go, it's safe. So, I mean, if this is G40 and your secretary general, your, your organizing secretary, sorry, sorry, secretary general, your organizing secretary, is assuring him of safety in the hands of G40. I want to understand. It baffles my mind. Okay. All right. Thank you, Blessed. Um, are we done? Going once, going twice. <laughs> All right, I'll give it to you. That's open file, right? Yeah. yeah, I had a nice interview with you guys, so because of that, I'll give it to you. Okay, my question is uh, All right, so we're done, right? No, thank you, thank you so much. No more questions after this, after the answers. I told you one day I'll be a bit rich, so today I've got cold drinks and a bit of meat for you after this. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much. Maskati, Baba Banana Mai, Shuku Gamchida in Asuno, Pano Ezar Pano, Vendidia, Pana 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 Pana
we one October 2020. Tunda kufara ni Supreme Court. Kwa Sakata Chishanda, Chiprepa Congress, 
Tisa wa na mshandisa Ma head speech wukutukani Tive wa na re-example hai Wa na wakona kutishua Ma zimaina wa rumi Wa re mpadhu ya mbisi tivi Wa mirira Tonga ni kaini Kwa ni shangu tamba chingwe ita juu Kwa mtemu Unika ene Kushika kongresi ya ya pera Kendi Ine kongresi ya pera wukondino Kutabaiti na ilozi unika ene Awa maswawa Nda tau rasa chemi na msangamu Asimbeka mirira Presidenti wangu Dr. Tokozani Kupi Thank you Takuru kura shakare kuti Nemu suwa nai Okoba Tukita msangamu wenu We National Executive Committee E, msua 11 October Toba taita msangano wedu We National Council Tichita kuparura chirongwa Cheku enda kusaruzo Zedu the Extraordinary Congress Patichano saruza e, Mutunga mili achatsiwa watu Angrai Mumi sangano ii Ye National Executive Committee Ye National Council Uyeze muurongwa Uyese wema provincia O councils nema E, nema nation, nema e, district councils Muno pili wachete nevano vari vatunga miri mu MDCT Kana kuti ma members e MDCT Vese vaka zingwa kudarari parliament Vaka zingwa kukansel Avasa siri ma member e kana wakana kuti nengo ze MDCT Ava kwa nisi kupinda mumisaka nungi Uyeze ava kwa nisi Uyeze kuwa watunga miri e, Wano mira kutiva saruzwe Saka tilikuta Sila kuti Vese akaitu wa record Asi member yenu Uyo awa member Ye national executive Provincial executive District executive Ward executive Yerime bato receive MDCT Ava kwa nisi kuwa Kumisangano yenu Saka dochi sugo chata sunga ipapo Ndogu ilana shakare kuti tichaita ma nominations yenu ema candidates Tichata anga msua 24 e, October 2020 ku Mat North Msua 25 ku Bulawai Msua 31 October Mat South Msua 1 Mid South Msua 7 November Tichaita ku Midlands North 8 November Marshall and West 14 November Marshall and Central 15 November March East 21 November Arare Chitumiza Chaita 22 November 2020 28 November 2020 Tinge Tiri Kumanikalent 29 November Tichange Tichita Kumashingo Tichisaru za Nengo Za Tinoti Kanakuti Wa Tinoti Vaite Matunga Miri Wanoda Kuta Ma Presidents Saka Ticha Open a Nomination Iyoyo Muna luna kita president Chero ani nani zaki Arimu MDC Anga we mkazi Anga wa murume Amu vumiru wa kupinza Zita rake kuti aite Mutunga vili we MDC Tinumota risa chete kuti ashika ire Makore acho Arimu musangami Hakuna anura mizwa Saka Azuna kukonfine wakunzi Vanegu wa national executive Kana national standing committee chat Nyangwe wa kuma province Kana wachida au Vano kwa nisa kuisa masita au National elections directorate Tichaita appointment next week Ndofunga ye independent election commission Isu se MDCT Andi isu tichaita run congress yenu Tino chaga Vanenge vaka shumiri nila Vari independent Ndo vachaita ma nominations ese Pamwe chete ne Congress yacho Ichaitu kwa soktara kwa taita Kumba musuwa 13 December Kushika musuwa 20 December Ndo pakati pati chaita ipa Kuhavest house musuwe sande Paka uya wakomana Wakanga watuma Tosu siwa yenu wakatuma ne G40 Wachita kutora mzinda we Harvest House Waka shabisa wabine wa tatu We wakomana ledu Asi Nyangwe muna hali munu weduka Anu tenge safuti Saka waka shika ndoku uzama kutora mzinda we Ndiri kutiku zama 
nekuti mutema wabvumiro zvakaitwa izvozvo nyaya ine takaipidza kumatare dzimosa tikahwina case yenu kunzi tidzokere pamudhuri wenu we Harvest House kana kuti Morgan Shangri House e nyaya iyi kutara kwandi kuita iri kupinda mudare masikati ano asata ziviswa kuti yatongwa zvakadi asi tine chuimbo chokuti mutemo uchatedzerwa tiri kunzwa kuti kune mabomb mabambo ma petrol bombs kwani moto wakuti kama harvest house izva zvinobvira zvaitika kusvika vanhu ava vauya asi tika kuti tiudze ma members e MDC kuti it's a question of time tiri kutora eh yet kuti asiyedo now i want to go to the questions elections Kune mtemo wa Buda wekuti mabai elections hakuna. E, kwa kune wana wakanga wataura kuti mabai elections haka achaitu wa musuwa 5 December. Wama wakatoti nomination achaitu wa musuwa e, 10 October. Zaiwe nema. 9 October. 9 October. It was the sick chair person. Zaiwe nema. Zakata wa waizozo. Aunga wataura ni blessed mnina wangu. Vana wakata wa waizozo. Vaitaura zino zwa wakanga wa suggesta kuna zekiche ya kese. Haandi chokwa haandi kuti panga pata wa madet e nomination kana kuti madet e by election. Saka hakuna ma by elections aliku hitu kwa go mutemu wa huda nasi. E, mutemu wa huwa kutuwa uchitarisa mamile haka hita kunze nenya ze COVID-19. Isu se MDC team tinozi wa huti COVID-19 yeko tine watuka mili wakabatuwa ni COVID-19 watuno kuziva E, Tumote na marikuti waka 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 rarangu e, Ndofunga pariju ni otashika pa figa inoita 9 Na yungo the MDC team za kaita da mtukoreche kwerechi Saka chiri kwerechi liko mashiko kwazo Saka tinozo nzuwisisa zwa hituwa na minister isu Ajuna kuhituwa zaka nanga isu zwa hituwa zaka nanga nika yese Isu nyongo teze na mutemo mutemo uripo Kana mutemo wacho kuchinge kuhine msoro Kana juli zweku zira wate wanvedu Masa batu wende uta chwana Tinozi, tinozi gamushi. Now, I just want to say that uh, here, that uh, there, there, there are regulations that have been gazetted. We haven't seen uh, the regulations, but we have an idea um, through uh, the statement that we saw. Uh, and this uh, uh, by election, that these regulations deal with suspension of electoral activity due to COVID-19. And in particular, the running of time. Uh, from where does the 90 days run from? Uh, and the period under COVID is not considered. That is the gist of, the, of these regulations. These regulations are regulations of general application. They are reasonably justifiable in a democratic society based on openness and fairness. And uh, the, as they are of general application, they are therefore fair. And as the MDCT, we have no parallel with them. Now, my friend uh, from the Newsday asks us, uh, how do we know whether uh, that it is G40 that is behind this um, usurpation uh, uh, and the illegal occupation of Harvest House? First, because G40 has always operated illegally anyway. And then number two, that it is G40 that, that incited this violence. They did that via Twitter, via social media, and so on. It is G40 that, through its own mouth, said that it was sponsoring the MDC Alliance, the so-called MDC Alliance. It is the G40. So as I have always said to you, if it quacks like a duck, swims like a duck, flies like a duck, lays eggs like a duck, then it is a duck. Um, and these people must never think that they can fool us at all. We are very much in the know of what is going on. And, but uh, the good news to our people, to our, to, our, to, our, to our members, is that we are going to defeat them. And we just say, victory is certain. Uh, why do we say that the Alliance project failed? I didn't say the Alliance has always failed. Um, the MDC Alliance, uh, when we went into the election, did well. And I think uh, that uh, uh, Nelson Chamisa as a presidential candidate did quite well. Uh, that's not a, that's not a, that's not an issue. Uh, but you must never forget that we were with him, that we also campaigned, that we helped in that campaign. 
um, and we did well. But after that, the, 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 the MDC Alliance project, the one I'm referring to, is where they wanted to convert the MDC Alliance into some political party. Um, okay, this, this political party was being, is fronting for the G40. And we keep on repeating that because we've got the evidence. And uh, when that association started, look at the by-elections that, that took place. Uh, Wenza, and these are rough figures, you can check them. Wenza, 875 for ZANU PF, 65 for the MDC Alliance. Uh, I think uh, Mwenezi uh, or, or Chiredzi, it was 600 something for ZANU PF, 18 for MDC Alliance. Then Cholocho, we had 414 uh, to 21 of the MDC Alliance. And Shurubi, 396 for ZANU PF to 16 of the MDC mm -hmm. Alliance. This is a first class poor performance. The, 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 this alliance project has failed. They also tried to bed mouth us. They told the nation that we did not have support. And we had our 21st uh, 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 anniversary celebrations at Morgan Chandra House. And we got record viewership of that event. We certainly do have support. Uh, people identify with our project. And uh, the MDC Alliance people, the MDC Alliance party people realized that they are reaching a dead end. And after realizing that they are reaching a dead end, they want to come and disrupt uh, our, 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 our program. Uh, but they will not succeed. We are going to win. Now, the issue of uh, Mr. Gorekore, yes, uh, Mr. Gorekore was used as the face. He is not the one who took over that. He is just a Trojan horse. Everybody knows that. There are people who are there. We know that Charlton Wende was there, Nelson Chamisa is behind it. We know that. Uh, and we know that they were uh, uh, told or instructed to do this illegal act by their masters. Um, but uh, we will defeat both them and their masters. And what is happening is that as the MDC, we follow the law. We have gone to court, we have won our court uh, 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 case, and we will take our headquarters through peaceful uh, means. These issues of uh, uh, violence taking their place there, you saw uh, who was inciting violence. It was them, and they told uh, the nation who they were. They said they were the MDC Alliance, and they wanted to murder some of us. And uh, we have seen uh, some people quiet about it. Um, these are people who uh, use violence to settle political issues and they are basically criminals and they have to be dealt with like criminals. Thank you so much, Leslie. Uh, there have been accusations that uh, uh, the national chairperson and among the committee is part of the headquarters stakeholder. This is very unfortunate. Why do people raise those kind of questions? They don't know the role in the job of the national chairperson in the party. The national chairperson is responsible for conflict management, conflict solutions of any nature in the party. That's his key role. And what I did was to manage the conflict within our headquarter. Our headquarter is like my home. When someone invades my home, I will not be scared to get into my, into my home. I will challenge that person who has invaded my house. I will confront that person at any particular time, at any moment. Let's go back to history. Conflicts that happened in Zimbabwe. In 2013 elections, Robert Mugabe rigged elections through ballot papers. And I challenged him. I confronted the conflict as it was. I got arrested. I got penalized. I served community court in the community service. 
I do. Come 2018, when Emerson Nangabo did not verify the results of the, of the election, <coughs> I took up the, for the podium and announced the whole that the results were there. I confronted the conflict as it was. When the Supreme Court judgment was supposed to be issued, was issued, I stood up again and confronted the conflict as it was and, and, and announced the new direction. So, when the harvest house was invaded, I had to do that. That's my nature. I don't fear no war, and I don't fear conflicts. The nature of leaders the leaders must, must always confront conflicts. Always. A leader must always want to find a solution to a situation whenever there's a conflict. That's what I studied, that's what I learned, that's what I know, and that's what I practice. However, when it comes to the harvest hour, I got a call around 4 a.m. for the first time to know that the harvest hour was killing dead from the Secretary General of the Party. He called me at 4 a.m. Chairman, do you know that the harvest hour has been dead? Ah, none. I got a call. I was sure. I was sure. And I said, I want to go to Harvest House and see for myself what God has done and is with who. Before I left my home, I talked to my president, Madame Coupe. Madame Coupe said, Yes, Chairman, go and confront the situation. Go and chase away those boys. As I was on the way, I found my SG. SG, look at the Harvest House. I actually left my home with the aim to end the harvest house to see what was happening to me. And I did that. I went to the harvest house, I went to the door, the police were outside there, I knocked at the door, and the youth opened the door for me. I went up, I wanted to find out why they did it, who were doing it, what was really happening. So I went and I saw the youth. I think they were around 39 youth. But before I went there, I took the aide the age to the president, Mr. Mashumba, to accompany me. So that would be a witness in future on what we are going to discuss inside. In the record, Mashumba of what we discuss. My questions were simply, why have you done it? Why have you decided to take over this? Why are you causing conflict in the park? And he explained to me what they were saying. Mm -hmm. And I left. I didn't give even any, any brief to the media. I think some of you were there. Because I wanted to go and report my president face. I drove away, I phoned my president, I gave him the brief. So I was never part of the harvest takeover. I didn't also didn't know about it. And I want people to understand me. I'm not such a simplistic politician. I'm one person who has remained consistent within MDCT since its inception. I have never left MDC in my lifetime. There are people that have been come, that have come in MDC and left. Not me. I've never sold MDC values. And I will never sell MDC values. Those people that would write and talk about Komich Wati Nisa are very single minded. I remain consistent, focused to the solution of this broken quest. I believe in unity, let me tell you. I believe in national building, let me tell you. I want to see one day the Zimbabwean crisis resolved. I want to see one day Zimbabwe is being happy. Uh -uh. I go beyond that. I go beyond that. So really, I, I hope you see the question of our party in this. It's clearly the one of the journey. It's not going to be to a good kind of a 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 kind of a
honorable Pogi and the Sedan Mons of Alexander, I shed and about two years and about two years. I'm allowed by the part constitution to call organizing department and the, and the department of the administration and resolve their conflicts between the part and that I got that power from the constitution. I got the power within the constitution to go outside the party to resolve the conflicts as well. And at the end of the day, I studied conflict management as a course. So I got the knowledge on how to resolve conflicts. So what I was doing on that very day in Arizona, the objective was to understand the conflict, the conflict, the conflict. so that I would make informed decisions on what is happening. Thank you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Uh, I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for coming through. And we will meet again. We will call you every now and then as we prepare for our extraordinary conference. Thank you so much for your fresh insight. Thank you.